areas expand. See you what is the location of India in the world map? How can you find the location of India? By we can find the location of India in world map by using latitude and then longitude. Latitude and longitude is very essential to locate any countries of the world in the world map. So the location of any countries, longitude and the latitude play a vital role. We need not to touch where America, where um, South America, where India, where Silo, where Burma, where Bangladesh, where Myanmar. We need not to touch. Only the latitudinal and longitudinal extend helps the, to locate the country in any place in the world map. See here, India extends 8 degree 4 minutes north to 37 degree 6 minutes in the north latitude. See here, latitude. First of all, I would like to say what is latitude and what is longitude. These are all imaginary line. The line which is drawn on the line, which is drawn on the earth from north to south, north to south, longitude. The line which is drawn on the map from west to east, these are all latitude. See here. There is a major line on the map of west to east to see here. This is one line, this is one line, see here. Many lines are there. On the line, there is a measurement will be there. So here, India exactly starts 8 degree 4 minutes north. See here, a line, a touching Kanyakumari. One line goes from west to east. It is latitude. I told you the imaginary line which is drawn on the map from west direction to east direction that is called the latitude. So here India starts here exactly here that is 8 degree 4 minutes. Again north pole see here exactly by 8 degree is here 8 degree 4 minutes. Again 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1920 we go also up to Touching Jammu and Kashmir, that is 37 degree 6 minutes. This is latitudinal extent of India. So, 8 degree 4 minutes north to 37 degree 6 minutes. One line touching Jammu and Kashmir. This is the latitudinal extent. And the longitudinal extent, that is 68 degree 7 minutes east to 97 degree 25 minutes east longitude. I already told the, the imaginary line which is drawn on the map from north to south. This is called the longitude. Now we will go, let us go for a longitude extend. See here. How do we, where we have to start longitude extend? See here. The land part ending starting here in this side exactly here the western part of Gujarat away it goes goes by touching a Gujarat and it comes down correct exactly that is 68 degree 7 minutes east away it goes east side 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 78, 68, 79, 80. It goes up to 97 degree. Up to here, in eastern side, by touching the Arunachal Pradesh, the last boundary. If you go to 98, some other countries will come, which is not connected with our country. So, it should not take uh, other countries. Uh, so here 98 
28 9, sorry, 97 degree 25 minutes east longitude. Some people will mark it wrongly. Longitudinal, they have, they have been you in the test. Some fellows are marking this side, some fellows are marking this side, some fellows uh, not at all marking. Just uh, they have led to this question. Mark it, latitudinal location, mark it. Longitudinal extent of India. Some of them walk wrongly, but some of them let out gently. It has to be avoided. So, if it's a latitude, 8 degree, I believe it goes up to Jammu Kashmir. Horizontal line, west to east. Longitude, the line north to south touching, where it starts in the north. Gujarat, by touching the Gujarat border of country and touching Arunachal Pradesh, the last. Especially, say, ran of Gachitu here, Silcha, in Arunachal Pradesh. That is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent. And here, this over, latitudinal extent over, longitudinal extent over. The next, uh, there's uh, one more question. I'll come. There's an imaginary line like this, uh, latitude and longitude, uh, that is the tropic of cancer, which divides the whole India into two equal half. The imaginary line, which divides India into two half, uh, that is called the tropic of cancer. Which divide India into two halves, that is the northern part, southern part. There will be a first big class only, but the, the line which divides India into two equal halves equator, topic of cancer, topic of Capricorn, all of this. Some people will select all of this. The people, those who have not at all come across this information. The people, those who are come across, across this information, they will exactly more topic of cancer. The topic of cancer divide the India into two equal halves. That is called the topic of cancer. That is the northern part and southern part. Another one, another one information. The last day, India is divided into 29 states. So far, 25. Now another five more states added. And there is seven union territories which are coming under directly the control of uh, uh, central government. The state, what is the difference between state and union territory? State, the individual state, there will be a chief minister, union territories have to be a chief minister, but the control comes under the central government. But the states, uh, the council chief minister has its own power. So why did they have divided into the states and the union territories now? For the administrative convenience. For the administrative convenience, they are divided the states, 29 states and uh, 9 union territories for administrative convenience. And uh, the last point, as we have seen already the differences the total coastline of India's mainland, the total coastline of India, India's, the total coastline of India, including islands. Including islands, this. Excluding island, mainland, this. 6,900. Like that, there is one another one more question. Countries will not confuse the southernmost point of India. Southernmost, north, west, north, south, west, east. North, German Kashmir, south, Kanyamuri. See here, Kanyamuri. This is the southern end. Southern end. Here is northern end. Northern end. That is Yuri, southern in the Cape Komori. What do you call that? Uh, Cape Komori. Cape Komori. 
Cape Comorines, C-O-M-O-R-I-N. Cape Comorines, nothing but the Kanya Comorines. Uh, that's one more question. Southernmost point of India is Pygmalion Point or Indra Point. Where it is Pygmalion Point or Pygmalion Point is otherwise called the Indra Point. Where it is now, it is in Andaman Nicobara Island. It is here. The Andaman Island, this is Nicobara Island. See here, this is the Pygmalion Point or Indra Point. That will be a question. Doubtful questions. The people, where they can make uh, mistakes easily, like the uh, total length of uh, India's mainland there, total coastline of India's mainland there, total length of uh, coastline of India's mainland, including islands. Same thing here. Simply you can ask the southernmost point of India's mainland, that is Kyakumori. Kanya Kumari. If they have left out the mainland, gently ask southernmost point of India, that is Pygmalion point or Indra point is the exact answer. If they have given mainland, southernmost, southernmost point of India's mainland, that is Kanya Kumari. If they ask gently, India's southernmost point, without uh, giving India's mainland, you should write uh, Pygmalion point uh, or Indra point, uh, which is in Andaman Highlands. Don't confuse India's the southernmost point of India's mainland, Cape Comorin. This is. If they ask gently, the southernmost point of India. That is Indra Point or Pugmalin Point, which is in Andaman Nicobar Island. Don't confuse India's mainland, southernmost point of uh, India's mainland there, that is Cape Comori. Cape Comori in other is called Kanya Comori. If they ask gently the southernmost point of India, straight away go to Pugmalin Point, or it is otherwise called uh, Indra Point. Which is in Andaman Nicobar Island. India relief features. So far, we have seen about India's uh, the key fact about India, the location and the uh, extent, land extent, water extent. The next topic, uh, the third lesson, India and relief features. What are the relief features? That is uh, mountains, plains, plateaus, rivers, desert, coastal plain, islands. These are the physiographic divisions of our country. And here, under the title uh, the relief features, we have a majestic Himalayan peak in the north. And uh, beautiful beaches in the south. I mean, south, uh, western side of Goa, famous beach. Eastern side, the longest beach in the world, uh, Merina, in Chennai. And then, in West, uh, the great uh, Indian desert. And here, big taking natural heritage in the east. Then, uh, the place famous for. Uh, natural heritage, animals and uh, so these are all the beautiful, majestic Himalayan beaches, beautiful beaches in the south and the brick taking natural heritage in the east make India geographically vibrant and colorful and truly incredible, incredible country. So, beautiful, sorry, majestic uh, things in the north, beautiful beaches in the south, hot taking, I mean the breathing hot, that 
its natural heritage, make India geographically vibrant, colorful, and uh, truly incredible country. Then, Islamographic uh, division. One by one you can see, first the Himalayas, the northern mountains, the northern mountains, that is uh, the Himalayan mountains, the title, the Himalayan mountains. Yes. 